Jack was born in a traditional musician storyteller parents on October 15, 1964. At that time, China had little contact with the Western world. To practice his English, Jack would go to a nearby hotel to talk with foreigners, and he did so for nine years. Due to the difficulty to pronounce his name, one of the foreigners gave him the name Jack. Jack tried three times for university or failed. He applied to Harvard for ten times or failed. For the last time, he went to a teacher's college which was considered the third or fourth class of his city. After he graduated from college, he applied for 30 jobs, all got rejected. When KFC first came to China, 24 people went for the job, and he was the only one who got rejected. Then Jack got a job at a local university and taught English there for about five years, earning just $12 a month. Later, he started a translation company with several friends, which would ultimately lead him to visiting the United States for the first time in 1995, where he discovered about the internet. In early 1995, he went to the United States. His friends introduced the internet to him. He searched for the word beer. He found information related to beer from America, Japan, and Germany, but he found none from China. Further, he tried to search more general information about China, but was surprised to find none. He went back to China and decided to do something related to internet. He called his friends over for a meeting. 23 of his friends went against it. Later, he tried to borrow $3,000 from the bank. It took him 3 months, but he still couldn't get it. He talked to over 40 venture capitalists. Everybody said no. No one believed him, but he believed something was waiting for him, and he got to work to prove himself. So they gathered $50,000 from 18 founders, and they started a website company in his apartment called China Yellow Pages. For the first three years, they did not even have $1 revenue from their business. However, he received a lot of emails of thanks from the Chinese customers. They told him that what he was doing was great. If he keeps doing it, one day he will be successful, and Jack took their words as his motivation to move forward. China Yellow Pages was a flop. Jack was pressured into a joint venture with China Telecom and ultimately lost control of the company. But Jack was determined to try again. In 1999, he corralled 17 friends into his apartment. The team set to work building their own online marketplace, and he called his second company Alibaba. With his wife and a group of his friends, he raised $18,000 and set up Alibaba, a site that allows business to sell stuff to each other. By October 1999, the company has raised over 25 million US dollars. No business plan and uh, zero revenue, but his eyes was very strong. The role was never easy, and many mistakes were made along the way, but it was always an adventure. The company grew very fast while it was burning through cash, and in 2001, Jack had to lay off his entire international staff. In 2003, Alibaba started Taobao, a platform for individual sellers to trade with each other. Back then, eBay China dominated the fledging market, holding over 70% share. By 2006, Taobao overtook eBay China, forcing eBay China to virtually exit the Chinese market. Although eBay would nominally continue to operate in China, it was no longer a concern for Alibaba. So, how was Taobao able to overtake eBay? Jack Ma has this famous saying that Alibaba is a crocodile in the Yangtze River, the longest river in China, whereas eBay is a shark in the ocean. Taobao has the home advantage if they fight eBay in the Yangtze River, but if they fight them in the ocean, they will lose. In 2017, Alibaba debuted its business facing division on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, but it delisted in 2014 due to the different share system. Alibaba take this message. We will definitely consider the market. Alibaba eventually chose to list in New York, which allows a dual-class share structure. Dual-class shareholding companies allow one class of shareholders to have more voting rights or dividends than other class of shareholders. China's single days has surprised the world once again. On November 11, 2017, Alibaba breaks its own sales record with a haul of 25.4 billion US dollars in one single day. It's not just consumers from China, but almost every country in the world buying things ranging from shoes, clothing, liquors, electronics, and diamonds. Today, if you hit the street in China, you can hardly see anyone using cash, because everyone is using Alipay. Alipay and WeChat are transforming China into a cashless society where transactions are commonly carried out via the phone in your pocket. Today, Alibaba hosts an annual talent show every year in an enormous stadium that gets employees rehearsing for weeks.
Aside from being a successful businessman and speaker, Jack is also an excellent actor. In November 2017, Jack Ma has made his movie debut with three famous Hong Kong action stars in a short kung fu movie named Gong Shou Dao. There are definitely a lot of things from Jack we can apply to ourselves. First, don't try to be the best. Be the first. Be the first to change. Second, always be optimistic. Third, don't give up the things you are passionate about. Fourth, there are always a lot of opportunities. Just depend on how you look at them. His legacy continues, and I believe we are still at the front line of revolution. 世界给了我们这个舞台，全球给了我们这个机会，为十亿人提供真正价廉物美的平台。谢谢大家。